South Africa is not yet getting in that, that conversation that Africa needs to have about Africanism and Pan-Africanism. Julius Malema is a very good person to bring about the issue of Pan-Africanism. According to Julius Malema, anyone who is in Africa should work anywhere in Africa. But the problem is, this song is not sweet to South Africans. Yes. They don't want to play this song that Zimbabweans can go to South Africa and work. They see it as these Zimbabweans, these Nigerians, other people who are going to South Africa to, to seek for jobs, they are taking their jobs. So as Julius Malema is advocating for Africans to work in South Africa, South Africans themselves don't want this to happen in their country. And that is why you'll find that Julius Malema is speaking to most African, young African people, because we love that uh, aspect of Africans working anywhere, but South Africans see him as unpopular because they, they, they want to protect their jobs. They say that these are taking our jobs and we, we don't have enough jobs here so we don't want more people. So that is the one major bit that is going to make perhaps Julius Malema not to take the day in tomorrow's election. And who do you think is going to clinch? Mm. <laughs> as, as by my prediction, mm. I think Cyril Ramaphosa mm. will take but, the day. But According to uh, South Africans, yes. not that I'm supporting, they, have, yes. they, are, they are against Ramaphosa. Mm -hmm. They say that this guy mm -hmm. has bring the economy down. Yes. Yeah. If you look How at... How do you think that is going to be elected once again? The How? party. The party. <laughs> ANC. Yeah. In South Africa, they usually even look at the party more than the person who is going to be voted for. South Africans love ANC. For 30 years, since 1994... South Africans have all elected only one party to rule them, that is the uh, ANC, mm. since Madiba. So uh, they are going to elect the party. But the problem is, and I agree with you as you're saying, uh, the ANC has become unpopular recently yeah. because of scandals, because of corruption, because of uh, unemployment and everything that is surrounding True. the government right now. So that means that less people are going to vote for ANC. And by the way, the fact that Jacob Zuma left ANC and formed Umhoto Sizwe party, the MK party, uh, formed or joined and made it so popular in KwaZulu-Natal, that is going to make uh, ANC weaker. And if ANC is weaker, then it's going, yes, it's going to have a majority of MPs, but uh, they are going now to, to have to maybe partner with another party so that they can form government. Because we know in South Africa, you elect MPs, then MPs will elect the president. So if the ANC will not have the absolute majority, that means that they have to go and partner with another party and form government. And we know there are only four major parties right now. Mm -hmm. We have the ANC, we have the DA, Democratic Alliance, we have the EFF for Malema and MK. The uh, Mkoto Wesizwe uh, that was led by Jacob But Zuma. by the way, uh, according to EFF, yes. Malema has tried so hard to popularize this party. Mm. Right now, he has taken like 10 years. Yes. That, 10 years, that you shows think that you. that the guy can, uh, is not on the ground. He, <laughs> that, has, he has dedicated himself to the EFF. That shows so, you how... You saw during the campaigns of Julius Malema, yes. a crowd of people. Yes, mm -hmm. a mammoth crowd of yeah. people. <laughs> but that shows you how ANC has taken the day in, mm. in South Africa. But one thing that every opinion poll is saying, and that is positive about Julius Malema, is that he is going to have more members of parliament uh, with tomorrow's election. So that is a positive for Malema, that is now going to have more say in South Africa. Mm. Yes. Okay, what about Jacob Zuma? What, what made Jacob Zuma to be uh, eliminated? eliminated? Jacob Zuma had been president for nine good years, yeah. and uh, he, v he was vying again. But what removed Jacob Zuma from office was corruption charges and scandals. And Cyril Ramaphosa was the deputy president that yeah. ascended to presidency. Now, Jacob Zuma wanted to vie again, because now I think he saw that the government is against him, blah, 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 etc. So when he wanted to vie, he, he, he forgot something very important, that he was jailed for, for 15 months. Mm. And the constitution of South Africa clearly stipulates that if someone is, has been jailed for more than 12 months, mm. they cannot be eligible for any political seat. Mm. So that is what removed Jacob Zuma from the, the seat. And uh, the constitutional court 
gave that ruling and that means that that is final you cannot go beyond the constitutional court so jacob zuma will not be on the ballot okay let's come back to kenya once again yes. about raila molo odinga we have said that we are comparing raila molo odinga and yes. julius malema yes these guys have been popular mm -hmm. malema is also popular in south africa raila yes. molo odinga is popular in kenya yes Everyone during the the, la the previous uh, general election, everyone mm. predicted that Raila Molo Odinga is going to clinch. Yeah. But William Arap, uh, Samoy Arap Ruto came from nowhere. Yes. Do you think that Malema can come from nowhere and become the president of the Republic of Kenya? In politics, because anything is possible. Because you say that Ramaphosa. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What do you have about Ramaphosa? What do you have about Ramaphosa? Huh? Because I, I Julius Malema yes. has been fighting for South Africans. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> that is true. You can win. Julius Malema <laughs> has been fighting for South Africans yes. and Africans as well. The problem is that one bit that I told you earlier. And that South Africans are protecting their own but jobs. But a new party. <laughs> 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 the yeah. UDA, yeah? And as you are supported by the former president. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, when, when, when you come back to Kenya, mm. I think <clears throat> Raila Odinga has a very good footing. And we know, uh, we know that in 2000 and, uh, is it 2007, we know who won in 2007. Mm. Mm. Clean. Yeah. So here yeah, in it Kenya, was Raila Molo Odinga. It was Raila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we say here is it. It was Raila. Seven. It was Raila Molo Molo Odinga Odinga who was, won. That Correct. Clear. Yes. But the problem here in Kenya is mm. one ethnicity. Ethnicity. We have deep ingrained ethnicity mm. that always or often plays uh, against Raila Odinga, as well as other um, allegations of. Uh, rigging and everything that maybe sometimes also come about but most uh, the most pertinent issue is usually ethnicity mm -hmm. now when you start comparing ethnicities and you say that i have to bank kikuyus i have to bank luos i have to bank this it always plays against the person who goes against the kikuyu mm -hmm. and the kalenjin and that is the matrix that these people have been playing about uh, by mixing these two tribes who vote extremely loyally to their people and then just add up the few. But Raila Odinga also, being him and, uh, and uh, Malema have something in common. We can call them radical, uh, almost or radical politicians. What they say, they want it implemented yeah. the way they said it. So th that is why you cannot compare Raila Odinga and someone like Alozo Msioka or someone like uh, Mudavadi. Those are a bit subtle, they are a bit uh, lenient. But Raila Odinga is a very, very forward person. Malema, the same. If they say they want this, they want this. Yeah. Now, when you come to the electorates or when you come to the, the general population, you'll find that most people are not radical. Mm. Most people are 50%. I, I usually like to call them the 50%. Mm. We, don't, we don't like to go so much to the left or so much to the right. So many people fear such leaders who are very radical and that is what also affect these two leaders that yes julius malema presents a very good deal mm. but people are scared about the what ifs or what will come after this sure. raila odinga is a very good leader but you'll find that uh, people even in mount kenya they say that i like this person but i fear of what will come after they are elected so yeah. that is the extremes you have a very good idea and that is also what i see is almost affecting Bobby Wine in Uganda, that you have a very good idea, but because you are too radical, people fear. Mm. Yes. So it means that for you to become the president, you must lie to the people. Like what <laughs> our president did. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> that is very bad. Yes. Okay, yeah. I can say about uh, Ramaphosa. Yeah. Do you think that Ramaphosa is going to clinch this? You have said that, yes, mm. Ramaphosa mm. is going mm. to clinch it. Mm. Why? Ramaphosa is going to, to take this Why? seat, one, because of ANC party. Mm. The ANC is very popular. He, he will not use a lot of resources even to go and popularize that party. Yeah. He is like one step ahead. You know, if you're going to arrest <clears throat> and someone is starting ahead of you, they are ready far, mm. so they are likely to win. <clears throat> so that is one reason why Ramaphosa can win this thing. Second is um, the South Africans still <clears throat> don't have a better option. If you mm. see uh, the three main contenders, that is, I'm speaking as a South African, not mm. as, a, as an African, I'll say <laughs> yeah. Malema is the best. Mm. But as a South African, they will say that, one, we have DA, Democratic Alliance. This was mm. the party that uh, was the first to have its president, who now gave to Madiba in 1994. 
it was it, it is also always looked like a colonialist party mm. a party of uh, white people a party of you know these people who are not supposed to be at the helm of the leadership but mm. the da is a very very strong party as well but if you're looking at the options the, and then eff EFF, as I said, radical uh, economic agenda. Uh, we know Malema has mm. for some time said he would uh, kill the Boers. He would... Uh, <laughs> yeah, controversial. <laughs> controversial. And, and doesn't want Indians. So there is that aspect also of uh, we don't know where this person will lead this country. Okay. And that now leaves the NC to be there. You, you know, let's, let's just continue the way we were. We were okay. So that is what may, may make uh, Ramaphosa to win these elections. Okay, as we finish, we want yeah. to compare between Raila Amolo Odinga mm. and Julius Malema. Yes. These are people that have big influence on the ground. Yes. You saw what Raila Amolo Odinga, even everybody believed that Raila Amolo Odinga is going to be the Julie. president. Yes. Right now, mm. you are seeing in South Africa that what Julius Malema is doing. Yes. Yesterday, a mammoth of crowd, mm. Hmm? Mm. a mammoth of crowd yes. came mm. in the field. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> you have said that Julius Malema is not going to clinch. Yes. Raila Amolo Odinga didn't mm. clinch it. Mm. Why? Why does Africans mm. doesn't want to elect those leaders that have popularity on the ground? Mm. Why? During the election, we see that they are the one who are going to fail. Mm. But those guys who are silent, mm -hmm. they are doing wonders. I will fault, I will fault the young people mm. as well because we are the people fueling these uh, good politicians who have radical changes. Yeah. We are the people who are fueling Julius Malema right now. Yeah. If you ask a person who is 80, not 80, 60, 50 years old, who's Julius Malema, they'll probably not know that person. Mm -hmm. But you go anywhere and ask a 24-year-old or a 20 or a 29-year-old who's mm -hmm. Julius Malema, they'll tell you who Julius Malema is, yeah. where, which country is coming from and what he stands for. But are these young people going to the ballot to vote? That is another question. Because even Julius Malema himself came out and said that, young people are not going to the ballot. We are leaving these decisions to our middle-aged, our old people, mm -hmm. who turn out to only vote for the, the, the obvious people. If, even in our, <clears throat> in our last elections here in Kenya, you found that a lot of young people did not go to the ballot. Yeah, they okay. didn't vote. I have friends who just said, I will not vote. And yet, right now, they are the people who are speaking about taxes and everything. So if the young people would really go out and vote. They come in political rallies, yes. They, they are given t-shirts. You see a mammoth of crowd. But when it comes to voting, these young people don't vote. So if these young people go to the ballot, I'm sure we are going to have these good leaders elected. Okay, as you yes. finish, what can you say about the... What can you tell people that are in South Africa? Mm. Tell them last thing. South Africans, we are looking at you, we are looking upon you, we are looking also at how you are conducting your elections. We know that elections in Africa are usually marred with a lot of sometimes violence, sometimes uh, accusations of rigging, accusations of not uh, wanting to accept uh, the results of the elections. But we know that uh, we are expecting to see a South Africa that is more advanced. Uh, of course, if someone is not uh, conversant with the elections, they are pro, uh, pro, pro, uh, the best ways to go about uh, to maybe advocate for changes in terms of how elections are done, as well as if the results are not satisfactory, we have legal ways of how you can go and address your issue. So we are looking at South Africa, we are also looking at uh, how they are going to come up with the winner, and we are also hopeful that mm. the leaders that they're going to produce are going to make change in Africa. South Africa is a big country in Africa yeah. and what or who they choose are going to affect the future of Africa. So Africa is looking at South Africa at this moment. Okay, as you finish, we say that until next time, game over. Thank you.